even when I ran away, even when I said I'm not doing again, I did not still tell my parents. It was him that called my parents. The audacity. <sighs> my mother now called me, oh, say, ah, where are you? They're looking for you. I said, ah, who told you? This guy. He to so what did he say happened? And they said, eh, you, have, you have gone, you left. No, really, what, is that all? So it was at that point, inside that bus, so I told my mother, see what has been going on. Da, 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 da. Ah, my mother said, like, ah, she's going to Abuja, she's going to. Now me sit my mother say, I beg, don't worry. I don't want any drama. I don't want him to lose his career. I don't want, I just don't want anything to do with that person. So before I left, I took one pair, one leg of his shoes, and I threw them away. Do you know that his uncle, who stands in as his father, the uncle called me when I was in clinic now, already receiving treatment, because the night before, they tied me up, you know. I, I went through a lot that last, the night before, so I just said, this is the end, before we die. No, I wasn't in the media by then. I said, before they would write me inside the newspaper that somebody has killed me, let me just, this is probably, you know, it's not to die. Make I just did, save my life. So, the uncle now called me. I, I felt like this man, as the father of the groom, this man is calling me to say sorry, to find solution, to shout like, ah, ah, why will he do such a thing? No, father, they call, one put mouth. This man saying, so where are the shoes? Hmm. So do you, did you hear the part where my ear is not really hearing well? Did you hear the part where, where I'm a bit fractured? Did, did you hear those parts that I've been clean? You, did, you, did you hear those? For the first time since I entered that family, I shouted on this man. Because the respect, the, oh, you have to do this for your in-laws, you have to blah, 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 blah. It remains more make a line for them. But I, I almost lost my life. You are calling, oh, you are talking about issue. Of which is his wife that used to, that used to talk to on the phone, that man's wife. Okay. That she would tell me the one way, where she don't see, where was past my own, nice. say my own uh, baby. So she was my mentor in sufferness. Uh, I was looking up to her in suffering as a woman, a virtuous woman will suffer. Why must a woman suffer to be a virtuous woman in this society? Why must a woman suffer? They could say, pray for your husband, lay hand on his head while he is asleep. He not a lay hand for my head. No, me not get head. I don't have a, a life. I don't have my own dreams. I don't, I didn't have before. Anyway, my own was to go to work, start having children. That was, I didn't have dream before. And mm -hmm. so I'm, grateful to him. So every, in every step of this discussion, mm -hmm. the most important part is I am grateful. I'm so grateful to him and God and destiny because he made me to start looking out for myself. Mm -hmm. My, I didn't even have anything. What is esteem? Self-esteem. So you want me. For what? When I, somebody that told me that I'm not your friend, I'm your Lord. That, oh, in his family, the, one of his uh, relatives, the woman does not sit on the same chair with her husband. <laughs> I mean, I just want to say, I'm going to speak English before slap me my face. Uh, but that's not what marriage is supposed to be. You <laughs> want me to just listen to madman. I should be Peter Obi now, uh, madman give her advice. You want me to hear madman and just go into the kitchen or go to another place. Hey, hey, it was even a time. I had to drug myself. So it got to a point where I was on drugs. So I'll just, whenever he's around, whenever he's coming home, normally as a woman, you should be happy that your husband is coming home. Yeah. But I just stash up and dope up. Wow. So that no matter what he says, no matter what he's doing, I'm just like, I'm just there like, just so that there will be peace. Even the quietness was affecting him. It was still irritating him. Like you, why are you pretending to be calm? I know you're not a calm person. I know you're not quiet. You. Mm -hmm. But it's, no drug can be permanent. It will still wear away after some hours. And what you carry for mind, you will still come. You will still talk your mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So many, so many departments I can go into. So you didn't bother me again till. Yeah. Uh, one, I think 2019 or. 18, we came again and he came as a friend. That he wants to talk about what happened in the past. He wants to, he has given his life to Christ. He came as a friend, doing um, God, uh, he don't give his life to Christ, blah, blah. 
I said, okay, oh, wow, wow, wow. We talked for long. I heard the issues. Oh, he was listening to friends. He was listening. He was, he did not have training on marriage. I said, ah, me too. I was stubborn. Sorry. Okay, everybody, blah, blah, blah. Then he now said um, that uh, this thing, the interview I granted some years back, and then the time I raised the alarm that, please, with this person, and that, the time I raised the alarm, that first time, I wrote his full name, his service number, everything. The event happens to me, this person. So he came back after some years, and he's like, um, it's affecting him, his superiors that are my fans, uh, dealing with him and what and what. And there's something he wants to do with women, like with some UN stuff. And if he has a domestic violence um, case, yeah, that it might affect him and blah, 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 blah. Momo me, he nearly catch me. Ah, I was not feeling very compassionate. Love come, they worry me, they carry me go, we are not know. I say, oh, oh, yes, he has apologized. Women, women and apology. They will know it's apology to get us in Jesus' name. He has said, hey, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, no, wahala, I would write something. He said I should write something that um, all the things I said, they are not true, that he didn't do them. I was never taken to the ER. I was never placed on oxygen. All my bones were never broken. I should just write that. It was because I was a bitter ex. So I don't know whether they put all those things where they talk and follow up waiting. Because immediately I hung up. Mm -hmm. I, my friend I said, wait, oh. it was as if I woke up. Like, ah. <laughs> so it's not the mumu. Oh, that, so I'm the bitter ex that they will not drag for my for so, something that is true. Yeah. So I said, ah, no, I can't do this thing. No. So it's physical violence. Hey, <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Wait till they break person, boom. When the carry person go, go, they put oxygen for your nose. Wow. As tall as you are now, he's very... Me, I don't like short... Oh, that is my problem. You like, see me? I like big people. I want to feel protected. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. Short girls like, oh, I, I want to feel... Oh, I want a six-inch man. I want to feel protected. <laughs> so that guy won't blow like this. And I go blow. If he slaps it. Yeah. Sure. And Paul don't slap me when I grow. They don't flog me. I forgot lock up. But it's not a good thing to lock up. Eh. But it's not just normal slap. Don't push, get out of here, idiot. Hey, I'll keep quiet. Some kind of punches, belt. Nothing, there's nothing I've not experienced in life. Torture, you know those them, um, so those CIA film where they go put person head inside a bowl of water to yes. torture you because they want to hear the truth, whether you're cheating or not. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I should come and implicate myself. Yes. You know, yes. as I'm two faced to the sag implication. <laughs> so I now called him back and said, Ah, okay, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't say, take back, you know, what is true. Mm -hmm. You should have thought about that before doing all things you did. Yeah. You're even lucky you still have a job. I had a there was one time one superior asked me, when I was in the clinic, you know, fighting for my life, he wasn't there. So the guy came and said, um, the neighbors told him that um, it's abuse and it's, um, he wants to take up the case. And I, and I said, yeah, I said, okay, yeah, fine. He said, okay, he's going to do some documentation, he's going to do this and that. Meanwhile, his wife will come, because his wife, I think, is an officer also, I can't remember. The wife will come and counsel me because she counsels, counsels women and blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, get, get it in motion. I'm ready to report. As the next time the man came with with this my uncle so my ex, you know my ex. Oh, before the man came back, my ex had come to tell me that I should not say anything, that I should not do anything, that if anything happens to his career, it's going to affect me too. Do I want to be the wife of a jobless man? Do I want to be the reason why my husband is um, jobless? Um, women bring honor to their husbands and bring blessings to their family. Do I want to be the one that will bring bad luck? To him and everything that you have to have sense you think that that man's wife is not going through things too you think other people's wives are not experiencing something but they will not tell you you are the only one going to tell other people about your own life so you know and i said oh wow then you say stuff like a good woman builds a home all this kind of stuff i like okay okay wow so when the man came back like okay yeah his wife is on the way and all i said oh no that i fell <laughs> the man was like you fell I said, yeah, that there was no um, domestic issue. I just felt everything's fine. And he said, that, oh, I should speak. That he's already working on, he's already working on the 
documentation, he reports and all of that. I was like, no, that he, he didn't do anything. That it was even him that brought me to the hospital. If I thought he's the one that saved my life, so it was just an accident. I just felt the guy was the the officer was so angry with me because he was an obvious lie. He knew it was a lie. I already told him the truth before. And then it's like after this point, he can't help me. I should talk now. I said no. I, I just felt. Do you know? That after I was discharged and everything, I was still blamed and beaten for causing issues, as in for raising any issue in the first place. So I fasted. Boss Anelli came in for fasting, fasting, praying. So sometimes when I come out and I say some things, I don't believe in this thing, I don't believe in, not God, oh please, oh no. I mean, some aspects practices. of marriage, mm -hmm. some practices. I have